There's more to your KitchenAid stand mixer than meets the eye. KitchenAid makes different attachments that fit right onto the front power hub of every stand mixer model, turning this machine into a true kitchen center. This is KitchenAid's meat grinder attachment. You can use it to make such things as homemade sausage, burgers, or even meatloaf. When you make your own food, you know exactly what goes inside. No preservatives and no mystery ingredients. Today I'm going to be making the meat for my baked whole wheat spaghetti with turkey sausage meatballs. You'll find that recipe on QVC.com. And to make the meat, I'm going to be using the large coarse grater. Now your grinder will come with two grating attachments. The larger one is always used for meat. The smaller one you'll find best for hard cheeses and breadcrumbs. When using this attachment, the food has to be cut into small strips or pieces so it doesn't clog the machine. Turn the mixer on to speed four, and then use the pusher to guide the pieces down into the grinder, being careful not to force the meat too quickly. To get the best texture from the meat you're grinding, make sure that the meat is very, very cold or even partially frozen. Now, if you're working with a meat that is particularly fatty, like bacon or chicken with the skin on, that should go through the grinder only once. If you're using beef, that should go through the machine twice. For my recipe today, I'm using turkey breast, but imagine what you could be making here. Add bacon and cheese into the meat that you're grinding and you'll come up with an awesome burger. Grind up nuts and pickles to add to your salad, but always remember you never have to add any water or liquid. And if you're going to be putting in some spice, be sure and add that after you grind the meat. Once you're finished using this attachment, cleanup is going to be a breeze. That's because every moving part except for the metal pieces can go into your dishwasher. To find this attachment and a whole lot more, search KitchenAid on QVC.com. To find any of my recipes, simply search David's Recipes.